Hey, what is going on YouTube? And today we'll be uh, showing you some zombies footage. I know how much you guys have been asking me to start posting some zombies videos. So uh, yeah, here you go. Um, I like to start this off with um, telling you guys about some of the footage. Uh, actually, some of the footage um, got like deleted and stuff with my Roxio. So it, I didn't get it ended up recording the whole thing, but I did actually edit it a little bit for you guys so that uh, it's not too long. I know you guys don't like long videos, so I kind of made that short. Uh, tell me what you guys think of the video, and at the end, I will be uh, playing some dubstep from Raxia, and you guys could tell me what you think about that also. Um, I ended up in the game about uh, about 5,000 kills and about uh, 289,000 uh, points. Uh, it's very sad when you have that much money and you can't really spend it on anything. I really wish Treyarch would add something for people that make uh, like that amount of money. It It's pretty sad when you do have that amount of money and you can't really purchase anything worth uh, buying. So, I mean, you if you guys could tell Treyarch that or, you know, if we could get some support on that, try adding, like, some nukes or max ammos that you could purchase off the walls. I mean, I think that would actually be interesting. Uh, you should tell me in the description uh, how much you think each one should cost even or tell me what your viewpoint is on that. <laughs> on this footage right here I'm about to show you guys, uh, uh, you can get black eyes on zombies. See, like that, how I did that on the girl zombie. Um, yeah, she ended up having a black eye when I punched her with the Galvan Knuckles. Uh, those who aren't familiar with the Galvan Knuckles, they can be purchased on the wall for about 6000 And, yeah, here we are on round 38. Um, uh, me and Zach had to go use the restroom while Alex was running the circle over there. Uh, found that really funny because, um, you know, <laughs> uh, just had a restroom break in the recording. <laughs> um. Here we are around 42. I'm starting to get my money up. Got around uh, four. Uh, I mean, 242,000. So about um about how much I ended up. And I would like to tell you guys this that we did not purchase the bank till around 45. Uh, I don't think many people have done that in a game. Like say, hey, guess what I did today? You know, per didn't purchase the bank till around 45 on survival in town. <laughs> uh. However, also about town, uh, like that most people don't know, but uh, if if you uh, ex uh, explode the door in the back uh, on transit, you can store money, which I do think that is awesome. But you can only do that on transit, sadly. I wish they would add that to town so that way you could uh, have uh, an upper advantage at the beginning. That way you could uh, automatically buy everything that you need or want. Um, like I said, I do wish that they would uh, add something in the later rounds for when you have that amount of money and you know you really have nothing to spend it on uh but yeah so tell me what you guys think about that and everything here's uh so most of you are asked probably going to ask me like what circles did you run or how did you do it or what guns did you use i mainly use the dsr and the voice of justice and the muscling and sally uh i do not recommend you guys getting emp grenades for for because sometimes you can knock out uh machines equipment whatever so i i had monkeys in this footage um however i probably will be posting up a video about how to use emps correctly and well emps are really good for uh grief uh you know if you're trying to mess with somebody but nah we're we're just trying to get to round so i didn't bother to pick them up um so here you see me using the DSR. The DSR, I believe, is one of the best weapons. Uh, sadly, I did not pack a punch it uh, once or twice, so I could get uh, the attachment of an iron sight on your uh, weapon. A lot of people, a lot of things that people don't know about the DSR is that even when you have the iron sights like held or like you know zoomed down or aimed down, I meant. Uh, you can uh, end it up holding your breath. I mean, <laughs> how weird is that? You already have an iron sight, and you know you can hold down your breath during that. Find that uh, really hilarious. That why would you need to hold down your breath when you already have an iron sight? But uh, tell me what you guys think about that. I guess. Um, yeah. So I ended up uh, going down on round uh, 46. I ended up uh, downing myself. Actually, my fingers were hurting and. Uh, I ended up just tombstoning it, and then after that, it all went downhill from there. Um, 
Alex went down and Zach did not have uh, have uh, um, monkeys or or uh, quick revives, and there were so many crawlers around Alex that he could he couldn't even get them. It was it was that bad, and he and as you'll see in like in the later rounds on round 46 that uh, uh, the bank will be opened. Like I said, it was opened on 45, and um, uh, Zach. Uh, he ended up going down, I believe, uh, double smacked, uh, uh, which while while it was lagging, which I find that really BS. But eh, it's a game. What can you do? Um, um, like I said though, eh, most of you are uh, probably wondering what circles I run. Uh, I didn't mention that, but uh, I'll tell you what circles I usually run. I usually run either in front of the Juggernaut, but Zach said he wanted that, so I gave it to him this game. So you ended up seeing me running in between the bar circle, the stamina up circle, and the laundry mat circle while Alex was running the fire pit circle, as you can see by that amount of zombies coming to my face. Uh, and then, yeah, Zach was running in front of the Juggernog building, which was usually what I run, but, you know, gotta share and care, I guess. <laughs> um... I did go down actually quite a lot. Most of it was probably either by lag or me trying to grab perks or, or you know, me just fooling around because uh, getting bored. Um, you know, Zombies isn't the most funnest game ever made, but it, I, it is a pretty challenging and fun game when you are you're just want to chill with your friends and be like, hey, let's get up to a high round on Zombies today. But, uh... Like I said, I will be ending this with some Raxia, and I do want to give all the credit to him for that uh, video, or his music, because it is actually quite interesting. It's a type of dubstep. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with dubstep, but if you are, it's been out for a good long time. Actually, it didn't become popular till around uh, about a year or two, but it's actually been out for quite a long time. Many people didn't realize that, actually, but... um. If you guys do not like dubstep, then you can just mute it during the end. But I really suggest you guys... Uh, I mean, it's not the greatest music, but I, I do think it is pretty great. And uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to give all the credit to him. Uh, I think he really did a really good job on on that music. He, he's a starter up, and you gotta, you got to build your way up, I guess. So um, tell me what you guys think about that. And um, yeah, I'll be ending it up with that. Oh yeah, he saw me get trapped in that corner by one zombie. I almost went down, well, sort of, but I in managed to squeeze myself out there with the uh, executioner. And uh, yeah, at, at that uh, round, uh, the um, executioner actually, I had to upgrade it because uh, it was doing no damage, and still, even with it upgraded, which is called the Voice of Justice, still was not doing any damage. It, it, every every gun did not do that much damage on that high of a round including the DSR, even though the DSR is one of the powerfulest weapons. Now, most of you are like, oh my god, the ray gun is the best weapon. I I actually didn't really think that it wasn't that really, you know, the greatest weapon. Oh yeah, there you see uh, the ballistic knife that was fired by Zach. Um, <laughs> he fired it all the way by the box, and somehow it led all the way over to in front of the Juggernog uh, uh, circle that you see me running here. Um... It's it's pretty hilarious how uh, a ballistic knife traveled all the way over there. <laughs> I actually find that really hilarious because, you know, at that point, we were taking any gun we could get out of the box and using it all the way up and then either pack-a-punching it or putting it back in, as you'll see later when uh, when Zach uh, picks up the M8A1 and it it does no damage at all. It It is, it is probably like a pistol on round like seven <laughs> it's uh not that great but um yes so uh tell me what you guys think and uh like favor and subscribe and this is zach playing uh for the final round like i said uh he, he did have the ray gun but it ran out of ammo and i like i said he went down by two hits and lag so and as you'll see right in the background near tombstone that uh it is my tombstone that i down myself there and then the game pretty much went downhill from there. So again, uh, like, favor, and subscribe, and tell me what you guys think, and I'll be back for another one.
be cleansed of the evil from which half the world has been free, united by far.